So thank you everyone for uh, joining us today. Uh, my name is Stefan Pignard. I am the general manager of Altavant and I've been working and helping retailer for the past 22 years. Today, I am glad to present to you Bastien Renault, a retail guru and a great professional. Um, we will be discussing how to enhance the efficiency of stock management. Uh, it is a very wide subject and hopefully we will manage to give you some keys on how to do that. Before we get started with the webinar, I just wanted to thank you all for your participation and your loyalty to these sessions. It is great to see so many of you attending and participating in our events. Um, so at Altavent, we are determined to support the sector using all the means that are uh, available at our disposal um, to prove our commitment uh, to collaboration. Uh, we are uh, addressing and we are carrying some actions for uh, during COVID-19 crisis, and those include some free uh, international uh, webinar, just like we are doing right now, uh, where we uh, get the input from experts from all over the world um, on how to uh, apply the best practice uh, during this crisis. And also what we do is we provide some free knowledge transfer. Uh, we are sharing with a company that asked for it um, on what are the best possible strategy uh, in order to put in place during this situation. Uh, as you all know, Altavent is a retail technology company uh, and our main focus is to provide intelligent solution to help you manage and maintain the stock of your product during its entire life cycle. Um, so what do we do? Uh, I'll try to be as short as possible presenting you the company. Um, we provide solutions, of course. Um, we implement those solutions uh, from A to Z, uh, from uh, analyzing the solution uh, and the needs, uh, customizing the solution and, and uh, rolling it out in your uh, environment. Uh, but also we are specialized in integrating with any kind of third party solution. Uh, we have integrated already, for example, in the past, a uh, solution like uh, any type of ERP, Oracle, SAP, AX, or e-commerce, or uh, CRM tools, uh, and of course, mobile application, any kind of uh, retail uh, application. Um, what we do also is we do provide some development, whether you want to develop uh, an e-commerce website, you want to develop a, a mobile app, on Android or iOS uh, based on your need and in order to uh, reply to uh, whatever the, the, the need is in retail. Um, also, what we do is uh, we are specialized in omnichannel. We do believe omnichannel is key, uh, especially in the world today. Um, and what we do is we provide uh, some uh, consulting in order to create a, a path on how the retailer should go and do uh, his journey to digitalize everything and uh, create a full uh, 360 view of his product, his stores and his customers. And we'll come back to this uh, later on with Bastian. Uh, and finally, of course, what do we do? Uh, we provide outsourcing. Uh, so uh, for uh, customers that uh, need help or that do not want to take care of their uh, architecture, of their hardware, of their software, uh, we provide a full hosting capabilities in order to take care of the maintenance, the performance, and the updates for you. Um, so I don't want to take more of your time. I just want to give you some key uh, numbers about uh, what we can provide. Um, we have we provide all kinds of retail solutions to help you uh, optimize your operation. Uh, whether we are talking about sales, stock management, RFID, omnichannel, we can then analyze and adapt the solutions to your need uh, to make sure that it is a perfect fit. Also, we are very uh, keen and strong on making sure that we always respect the timeline that has been defined since the beginning of the project. And this is a big strength from our team. Um, I'm not gonna go into the detail of all the solution and what we do, but what you need to know is that uh, with our existing customer, uh, with the solution that we implement, we are capable of increasing your sales by up to 15% and reduce your overstock by up to 40%. Um, and this is the question you might have is, how do we do that? And this is the subject of the, uh, the webinar. Um, I want also to inform you that the marketing team will give you the possibility in the chat to ask as many questions as you want, and we will do our best to answer most of them. Um, and finally, please, not necessary to take notes. Uh, we will provide you at the end of the webinar, a PDF summary of every subject we have addressed and a link to the webinar itself. So now I will end uh, the speech to uh, Bastien, uh, and I will talk to you a bit later on. 
Thank you, Stefan. Um, so I'm going to start this presentation uh, with a few questions that we usually ask to our customers when we start our analysis phases in order to understand uh, uh, the requirements. Uh, usually we want to know if uh, managing warehouses uh, is becoming uh, costly for you or too complicated. Um, if you have KPIs for your stocks, because these days they are as important as the sales KPIs. And uh, very important, how long do you take to calculate them daily, weekly? Uh, in other words, do you have a tool extracting them in two minutes or are you using your uh, standard ERP or eventually Excel? Uh, that's really important for us to understand how long it takes uh, for you in terms of minutes of hours per week to get the real picture of your situation. So we need to know basically also if you have the right data to forecast, is it uh, reliable and is it the real time data? And uh, at the end, we like to know if you always uh, have the right product at the right location, because of course, as you know, the same SKU uh, might have a totally different sales through rate per location. So before going into all these details, I just wanted to uh, uh, explain for the people who uh, used to follow us in uh, Altavant, usually our webinars uh, are about how to make more money by opening or enhancing new channels like uh, e-com, for example. But today we wanted to be a bit different and to talk about a different topic and focus more on the inside world of a company uh, and see how you can switch to an efficient survival mode. So the goal, of course, is not to stand still and wait for the storm to pass, uh, but simply to focus on the existing assets of the company. And believe me, you have a lot. Uh, so the survival mode usually requires the strategy and the direction. So today we'll talk mainly about three points. Uh, first, the efficiency of the stock management uh, and the working capital need. We, then the cash flow preservation, which is purely finance. And uh, we will end with the importance of uh, having a 360 eagle view of your data. And when we say data, it's not only the sales data or the CRM data, but also the inventory uh, in order to have the real global picture. So we start to focus on the uh, stock management. Um, we will start with a quote. Uh, there is no good medicine for the one who does not know what he suffers from. Um, we say that because, of course, if you don't have a good diagnostic tool, you cannot implement any good action plan. So basically, you need a solution or solutions that will allow you to first do AI predictions. Uh, we use a lot of artificial intelligence now, especially to manage inventories, uh, to avoid out-of-stock situations, for example, or to anticipate the demand peaks uh, based on last year, last week's or last day's uh, statistics and any acceleration uh, you might have in terms of sales. Uh, we are showing uh, a clear open to buy. That's really important to have, of course, for your uh, replenishment and open to buy at the SKU level and not analyzing necessarily at the global level or category level. So that's the same thing for the pre-season procurement or the in-season replenishment. Uh, usually we implement tools that allows you to have a good suggestion up to the SKU level. The next point is about the stock balancing uh, during the season. And the purpose is to give you always the right product at the right location. Today, we realized uh, while implementing solutions that it's very tough uh, for the retailers to know real time through the ERP or through Excel, uh, what is the best product uh, and do you have the right amount of stock per SKU per location? So the system should do it for you. And when Altavant implements its uh, tools, um, you will be connected with your ERP. So for example, every morning you will receive a suggestion of transfers per location with the SKUs that have to be sent and where they have to be sent, basically where there is a better potential. So you just have to edit or validate these daily proposals but if you press OK, your ERP will create all the movements. So the stock balancing between the stores and, of course, the reverse logistic in case you have to bring back some items that are uh, stored uh, in the store and go back to the warehouse or go back to the e-com warehouse. Uh, all this is suggested daily by uh, a good tool normally. 
a good tool is also suggesting end of collection management. That's the same concept. The system will suggest for you uh, to group some collections. When you have end of collection with few remaining sizes on some items, the system will decide where is the best location to group all of them uh, in order to create a volume effect and to speed up uh, the acceleration of the, um, the sales. Another important one, of course, uh, is to focus on the return on investment. So most of the tools that we're implementing are ROI focused. That's really important. So we do not want to reinvent the wheel. Uh, there are a lot of very accurate KPIs in the logistic business for years now uh, that are there to help you to improve uh, your efficiency in your supply chain or in your sales. So our job is just to display them and real time so your team can take fast decision. When I say your team, it's not only the operational team, it can be the financial team, the procurement team. Um, the purpose is to give to everybody the reactivity they deserve. So we will see them in detail, all these KPIs uh, at the end of this uh, presentation. Uh, another really important um, point, uh, which is helping us to save money clearly, it's uh, how to preserve your margins by preventing markdowns or heavy markdowns, thanks to artificial intelligence, again, thanks to new algorithms. So usually what happens uh, in the retail business? At the beginning of the season, we buy our product for the season for the whole year. And then a few weeks before your sales period, a few weeks before uh, Dubai Shopping Festival, we analyze what is still there in the stockroom and we decide about markdown percentage per items to speed up the sale process. Um, the problem is that it is our last chance to meet our end of season stock target percentage. Uh, we have to give uh, in many, many cases a big discount. And at that moment, we are impacting very badly our margins. So artificial intelligence, what it's doing for us, is just allowing you to preserve this margin by anticipating and checking any deviation and variance between your target and uh, your, the real situation by predicting how and what will happen. So I'm going to show you an example. If you see on this chart, uh, it's very simple. Uh, this is an example of a product. Um, for example, you sit down, you have the product life cycle in weeks. In my example, we are considering that the life cycle will be 24 weeks. And on the left, you have the sell through rate. So on my target, which is the blue line, I'm expecting a sell through rate of 90%. So I'm, I will be okay if I keep 10% of my stock at the end of the season. So my blue line is the target. Now in red, I have the reality my sales. And then if you see that the red uh, on week six or seven, now it's becoming too far away from my sales through rate target. So in this example, 17%. So I can decide, of course, what is my tolerance. I can decide that above 15, I'm not happy, so I need to receive an alert. So the system, 17% is telling you, okay, you should do now um, markdown of X percent. So it would suggest something like 15%, for example, then you continue to do your sales and you have two scenarios. In the scenarios that you can see on the red line, the red line in week eight and nine is coming back close to the target. So it's fine. I'm going to stop my promotion and going back to normal. If the scenario two is on, which means that uh, the sales are not good, there is no speed up process, then the, suggest the suggestion from the tool will become, I don't know, maybe 25%. Uh, so the purpose is during the year and not at the end of the year or end of your season, the system will always tell you, please uh, do this amount of uh, markdown in order to stick to your target. So that's how artificial intelligence can help us in our business. And again, it can be at the category level, but of course at the SKU level. So now we'll talk about a financial problem that we are facing now during this crisis. Uh, it's about the working capital need. So it's a purely financial uh, issue. Uh, we start again with a, with a quote and a basic principle. In finance, we know that uh, a company never sinks for lack of income, but always for lack of cash. In other words, uh, too much stock can clearly kill your business. 
So the purpose, again, is to have a good tool to advise you about what to do or not to do with your products in terms of sales, replenishment, procurement, based on the reality of the situation, based on the real potential of each and every SKU. So when you have a good tool, it allows you, first of all, of course, to lower your stock levels, having just the needed uh, that you need in your stock rooms and the central warehouse. It allows you to increase your stock rotation. And when I'm saying increase your stock rotation, it can be very fast. Uh, ideally, in the retail, let's say that when we are good, uh, we have a um, stock turn of 10. 10 times per year, we turn the stock. If we are really good, uh, we can turn the stock 12 times, which means that in this case, when you turn uh, your stock 12 times per year, you don't really have a working capital need to finance at least your inventory. The third point uh, where you will be helped by a tool is to reduce the payback time. It means how long it will take for you to get your investment back. So when the tool will help you on this free aspect of uh, your working capital need, basically immediately the consequence will be that you will reduce your frozen cash and of course, you lower immediately your working capital need. So that's about the, the working capital. The other aspect where you can work, uh, it's about your expenses. Unfortunately, uh, there is not a lot you can do on this, uh, on this side, as you know. For example, the first one, like the rent, you're not responsible of that. Uh, it's not easy to reduce your rent and not everybody will allow you to reduce your rent. Um, the next one is the staff. Uh, most of the company, many, many companies, they reduce the salaries. Um, that's a strategy, but uh, you all know that in the retail, uh, staff is an important asset. Basically, when you reduce the salary by 50%, in many, many cases, the motivation also is reduced by 50%. So what we propose to our uh, customers, uh, we have a lot of in-store apps allowing you to do more with less, more with less stuff. Uh, for example, for your daily supply chain operations, about your transfers, your reception in the store, your daily, weekly stock takes, we have apps allowing you to do that way faster. Uh, regardless if you already have RFID system or if you're using a still classic tag system. Uh, and then at the end, of course, again, if you pay with your stock amount, you will, per consequence, reduce some logistic expenses, less insurance and eventually less uh, warehouse size, reduce the size of your warehouse will reduce the expenses. Um, so these, these are the tracks that um, we are investigating on, uh, usually when we do our analysis with our customers. So I said at the beginning of the presentation that we want today to focus on uh, being in survival mode and focus on the internal aspect of the company. But of course, this doesn't mean that uh, we cannot focus simultaneously on growing the revenues. So again, that's the same concept here. The goal is to have a tool or tools to allow you to connect dots in real time, anticipating better than reacting. So these tools are the classic ones. So we start with omnichannel. Of course, uh, if you really want to have uh, an offer to your customers an omnichannel experience, allowing them to order from the e-com to um, collect in the store or to connect in one store um, and uh, return the product in another store, you need to have an omnichannel tool um, to be real time. So uh, the next one will be about uh, the nose boss. Uh, nose boss, uh, to recall, it means uh, non on shelf, but um, on stock. Uh, so sometimes you have the product, but it's not on the selling area. It is uh, in the um, uh, it is in the shelves. Uh, by the way, I'm just uh, showing you that we are displaying a poll, uh, okay? If you want to please answer the questions that uh, are displayed on the screen, it will help us to understand uh, um, your personal situation for the audience of this, uh, um, of this webinar. Um, so uh, for the North Boss uh, situation, um, usually it happens that when you have a, 
let's say, not big depth uh, of your range in the selling area, you cannot display four uh, sizes for each and every item, each and every color. So basically, usually you have one or two on the selling area, the rest is in the stock room. Uh, so you need to have a tool allowing you to alert the staff live about the items that have to be refilled on the selling area. Uh, and uh, or a classic system, or even if you use the RFID, the system will even tell you where uh, is this item located. That's for the NOSBOS. Uh, another very important point is about exposing your whole stock. Uh, basically, when you have an e-com, for example, you open a new channel, an e-commerce, you have two choices. Or you have a dedicated uh, e-com warehouse, or you decide to expose the whole stock and expose in the e-com also the stock that is already presented in your uh, uh, different uh, uh, physical stores. So you bridges uh, offline and online. Uh, if you do that, of course, again, you need a tool to be reactive. If a customer's order an item, he doesn't specially know that uh, know that it's in store number A. And if you have only one item, you need to make sure that the staff in the store will receive immediately a notification to remove this item from the floor, from the selling area. So again, technology is just there to uh, help you to be real time in order to offer this omnichannel experience to your customers. Uh, the next point will be about preventing stockouts, of course. And again, it's about Artificial intelligence, the tools uh, are learning very quickly. They are doing machine learning. So the algorithms will um, help you not to uh, react facing a shortage, but to avoid it thanks to prediction. Uh, when you react to a stockout situation, it's too late. Uh, you have lost money for, I don't know, one, two, three days. So the concept of having artificial intelligence implemented, the system knows uh, in how many days, knowing your lead time, how long it takes for you to replenish your store, because for example, you have only two uh, deliveries per week, then um, you, you will know exactly what to do uh, in advance. And the last point will be about uh, managing your vision merchandising. Uh, of course, the system will make suggestions again about what you should do even in vision merchandising. Uh, for example, to remove the cannibalization effect for some product, the system will suggest a number of uh, references per store. Everything will be done automatically um, with the system. And then to conclude, um, we wanted to talk about the 360 view. Uh, when we say 360 view, we think about 360 view for the whole company. Um, Again, the goal is to have, thanks to the technology, the global picture, and not only uh, the sales part or the customer part uh, of the data. When we are in survival mode, uh, the strategy is global, from the procurement to the hand customer and its loyalty. So you need, of course, a good OMS, a good merchandise planner, a good CRM, a good ERP, but the really important stuff is that you need to have them connect it together, communicate together, and be real-time in order to give you the global and full picture of the situation. So again, you can take the good action plan if you have the good diagnostic. So now on this uh, slide, I will uh, leave the mic to Stefan, who will explain you in details what are the main KPIs we are tracking with our systems. Thank you, Bastian. So like what Bastian uh, was explaining, um, it is uh, very important for you uh, in order to evaluate properly your activity, you need to put in place some of the following indicators. The first one is what we call the sell-through, the sell-through rate, uh, which basically measures the amount of inventory you've sold in a month versus the amount of inventory shipped from you uh, by the manufacturer. Uh, the sell-through rate is a very important retail sales metric that allows you to monitor the efficiency of your supply chain. And it's an important, especially metrics for physical store, given the rise of e-commerce platform like eBay, Amazon, and Noon. Um, you want to aim to have a high sell-through rate. Any product you have on the shelf is costing you money and could be used for more popular products. Therefore, if your sell-through rate is too low, you will need to dig to the deep, to 
identify the problem. As a leading indicator, sell-through rate won't tell you what's wrong, rather something is wrong. Um, so uh, we recommend also that you segment your sell-through rate analysis by product, by SKU, to see which product are selling well and which product are selling poorly. Use this to inform your inventory process and reduce the risk of carrying slow moving product. Final error, finally, be aware of the seasonal trends impacting product sales. The second criteria, which I believe is very important, is the Gameroy. The Gameroy shows how much profit the inventory sales produce after covering inventory costs. A higher Gameroy is generally better as it means each unit of inventory is generating a higher profit. The Gameroy can show substantial variance depending on market, segmentation, period, type of item, and many different factors. The third, uh, the third element is what we call assortment success or import, uh, the, the, the product mix. Um, the product mix for a retailer is crucial to understand as it exerts a profound impact on the retailer brand image. Maintaining high product width and depth diversify a retailer product risk and reduce dependence on one product or one product line. With that being said, unnecessary or non-value adding product with diversification can hurt the brand image. For example, if tomorrow Apple were to expand its product line to include refrigerators, it would likely have a negative impact on their brand image with consumer. In summary, successful expanding uh, a product mix can help a business adjust to changing consumer demand and preference while reducing product risk and reliance on a single product or product line. This turns generate uh, substantial profit for the firm. Uh, on the other hand, poor product mix expansion can result in a detrimental impact on the company brand image and profitability. The fourth and not the least is what we call inventory turnover. Inventory turnover is a financial ratio showing how many times a company has sold and replaced inventory during a given period. A company can then divide the days in the period by the inventory turnover formula to calculate the day it takes to sell the inventory on end. Calculating inventory turnover can help businesses make better decisions on pricing, manufacturing, marketing, purchasing new inventory. Inventory turnover uh, measure how many times in a given period a company is able to replace the inventory it has sold. A slow turnover implies weak sales and possibly excess inventory, while a faster ratio implies either strong sales or insufficient inventory. High volume, low margin industry, such as retailer and supermarket, tend to have highest inventory turnover. Also very important, if you look at numbers, for example, when you manage by uh, improving your operation to increase your uh, stock turnover by simply 0.1, that is the equivalent of improving your sales by 10%. Um, and believe me, it is much easier to improve your uh, stock operations, your logistic, than uh, improving your sales by 10%. And finally, the last uh, KPI is what we call the payback. Uh, you have already heard from Bastien about it. Uh, it gives you the time needed to recover your initial investment, which is very important for you to protect your cash flow and reduce the frozen assets. Uh, we are done now with the slides and we would like now to give you the floor and answer all the questions you might have on the chat. Um, if we do not manage to answer all your questions by the end of the webinar, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us by email uh, and we will be more than happy to uh, answer your question or to show you the different solution uh, that we can implement for you uh, in order to solve the issues that we have just discussed. So Noza, if you can tell us some of the question we might have on the chat. Yes, I, I will start with the first question uh, that we received. Um, it's about uh, um, how do we implement and connect uh, the different tools. So I'm not getting into details about the tools we are implementing exactly because uh, we have different solutions according to uh, the need of the customer. It's only after the analysis period that we can tell, okay, this is better to focus on this solution to manage your inventory, for example, or this financial tool or this OMS. Uh, uh, by priority, but regardless the solution we are implementing, um, 
we are doing a um, uh, key a turnkey project it means that uh, we are uh, connecting uh, any software that we will add to your ecosystem with your existing um, ERP, for example, which is usually the main tool where we connect. We connect regardless or CSV file or eventually, and of course, uh, web services in order to be live. Uh, so uh, when we suggest something, it is uh, connected with your existing with your existing systems. Um, I will let Stefan answer to another question I see from uh, Peter. How Hi, long Peter. does implementation uh, uh, take to see results? Okay, it's so um, uh, for example, for the solution that uh, can take care of, with AI about your stock and your operation, uh, we uh, implement the solution, uh, including, of course, the integration with your existing system in 30 days. That is from the day we uh, uh, sign the contract to the day you go uh, live. But to see the result, uh, I mean, we can take examples, Stefan, about what you implement recently around how many weeks after, because we talk in weeks there to see some result. Um, yeah, we've, uh, so basically the implementation took one month and, uh, and starting to see result uh, takes about, uh, I would say, uh, six weeks. Within six weeks, once the solution is running, uh, we start to see a significant uh, improvement in terms of uh, stock out prevention, in terms of stock rotation, uh, in stock in, because automatically everything is automated. Um, the system will uh, propose stock transfer between the stores instead of replenishing from the supplier, uh, etc. So uh, you're going to be able to have the right product at the right place. So Stefan, I don't know if you see the questions. Uh, so somebody wants to know the name of the software. <laughs> we uh, can discuss that <laughs> once uh, we uh, meet uh, directly. Again, I was, uh, as I was explaining before, it depends on your uh, requirement, the size of your business uh, and the exactly. uh, priority, the main problem you're facing. And based on that, we will adapt the solution. So we have several solutions for that uh, in our portfolio. Uh, we have something about how to manage the terminal stock and uh, what will be the best solutions for the terminal stock. So um, I don't know if I understood properly the questions. Uh, if we are talking about the end of season stock, the remaining one, which is hard to sell, uh, again, this is something that when we are facing this terminal stock, it's a bit too late, let's say. There is no other solution than uh, uh, applying a very heavy markdown. There is no other choice. When it's uh, at the end of the season, it's too late. So again, that's why it's uh, uh, so important to use the tool to predict and to have the stock uh, gone quickly during the season, instead of waiting the four or five last weeks uh, to remove the terminal stock. And for example, uh, one of the solution uh, that the, the, the tool will allow you to do is, uh, for example, during the season, uh, once you are uh, arriving at a point where you have only certain size of product in a store, you are gonna have Excel in one store, L in another store, and uh, M in the third store. Uh, most of the time, what will happen is that those items are just uh, synced in the middle of the store. Uh, there is no real uh, merchandising viewing anymore. So customer will not see the product and those products will end up at the end of the season uh, being fully uh, marked down in the outlet store. Now, what the solution will do is they will recompose your uh, visual merchandising by proposing to gather all those products in one single store, one single location where the sell through is very high in order to try to sell as much as possible in full price instead of discounted price.
yes, we have a question from Ahmed. Um, I agree, I'm not sure exactly. Um, I'm asking Ahmed to, Ahmed Isham to rephrase the question to make sure we understand it uh, well. Uh, in the meantime, in the mean I will, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yes, we can connect uh, all kinds of data. Um, the more data, the better, uh, meaning that uh, we will uh, take all the information related to the, uh, the product, the pricing, uh, the stock movement. Uh, and the more history we get, the better it is, uh, because automatically the AI learns uh, the trends, learn the product history, learn the product life cycle. Um, and from there also learns of, for special events, for example, during Ramadan, during Eid, uh, and all those kind of uh, specific situation during the year. Uh, and it will give the solution more capabilities uh, to uh, predict and prepare uh, for the coming weeks and months. Again, where we are shocked when, uh, and clearly sometimes we are shocked when uh, we do the analysis phase, uh, is when we hear how many hours per week it takes for the staff, mainly for from the purchase staff, uh, to to do this diagnostic diagnosis. Um, and to consolidate all the data coming from the sales, coming from the actual stock, uh, it takes hours and hours per week. Um, so uh, when uh, you do your pre-season uh, uh, purchase and procurement, and then you have to decide after three months, six months, whatever, to replenish, uh, if you don't have a tool, an open to buy will suggest properly what you should purchase. You will just purchase based on the financial budget, which is absolutely wrong. Uh, you cannot purchase based on an amount of available cash given by finance. Uh, you need to make sure that you uh, you will have an open to buy converted in quantities and quantities by SKU. Uh, in order to replenish exactly what you need. And if you want to do that with Excel, it takes weeks, weeks. Um, I will let Stefan reply for the next one, uh, the so next question. So are the uh, solution expensive? Um, actually, they are not. Um, uh, they are not uh, because they consist mainly uh, in a monthly fee. Uh, and that monthly fee includes um, the software, the hosting, the governance, the AI, and uh, some uh, consulting uh, on a weekly basis in order to make sure that uh, we are targeting the right, uh, the right uh, targets in terms of um, what do we want to improve? Do we want to improve the margin, the payback? Which KPI are we targeting and how do we do? So yes, the amount is very simple. Uh, it is based on number of store and number of back office user. So the calculation is very simple. And no, there are no uh, small letters in the contract. We even have uh, the capability, uh, especially for the first month of use, if you are not satisfied with the results, we refund you uh, the cost of the solution and the implementation. This is how uh, sure we are of the solution that we are proposing. Yes, 100% of what has been signed, that is correct. You're welcome. Any other question, guys? No, apparently no more open questions. Uh... Okay, uh, well, then uh, I will end the webinar here. Uh, there is one more coming up. That's the same, it's about the cost of yes. the... Maha, mm -hmm. uh, we can definitely discuss this um, uh, together uh, so I can give you the precise uh, cost of the solution.
I'll be happy to share that with you. Uh, thank you all for participating and joining us. It was, as usual, a pleasure. Um, very soon, you will receive uh, the PowerPoint and the PDF uh, of uh, the uh, solution and the presentation, and of course, a video of um, the uh, webinar that you can review and share with anybody uh, that you would like to. Uh, we, we had a quick um, question there. Um, just Go the ahead. last one I see from uh, Usam um, about the replenishment and I guess the suggestion about the automated replenishment when you don't have exactly the same item because you're changing items every year. So, of course, it's complicated for the AI tool uh, to do any prediction if it doesn't have any historical data on the same SKU. But that's the same concept. So you said you asked for the jewelry business. It's the same thing for luxury, any luxury business or any fashion business. That's the same thing. Uh, usually, we give a kind of parent product to the system. We say, OK, last year, this uh, necklace uh, correspond to this kind of category. So that's the new SKU corresponding to the same category uh, in terms of whatever uh, price, customer, or range. Uh, you associate these uh, products. So the system knows that, OK, if this belongs to this kind of category, then this is what will happen to this product next year. Uh, you have to link them. And the solution allows you to do that indeed. I hope we have answered all your questions. And again, thank you very much for your time. And uh, we hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you.